A statue of Queen Victoria presides over the next event, the Bavarian Lift. And that's the state of play so far. Just one attempt at each weight is allowed, so it's sudden death. And as Heinz passed on 270 kilograms, his next attempt here will be at 280. This event very similar to the deadlift in powerlifting, and that orange block of concrete has to be lifted above the green line for a valid lift to take place. 280 kilos, 42 stones, and he gets it. That looked very easy for Heinz Olesch. Let's just see that again. That's what the judges are looking for there as it rises above the mark. Bill Pittock now with the same weight. All round strength required here, but especially in the legs and the lower back. Oh, this is a long, long pull for Bill. Now he's got to get those shoulders working. The second heave to get it over the line, and he's got it. Now looking forward to the emphatic winner of the first event. And that's bad news for the rest, because this man is a former world record holder in the deadlift. Herit has lifted over 400 kilos in the proper competition, so this should be well within his scope. Oh, that's very smooth pulling by Herit Bardenhorst. He's got the signal already, just seeking clarification, but it was a good lift. Herit always the showman, and I'm sure they appreciated that it looked easy. A chance for Colin Cox now to shine. Like Herrett, he has a background in powerlifting, so this could be his best event. He was looking relaxed before, but then comes this incredible psyching up. Now he's got a pull, pull, pull. He's really digging into all his strength for this one, trying for that final shrug to get the valid lift, and it's not going to come. The weight has beaten Colin, which is a pity. He was looking forward to this. Just missing out on getting the weight over the marker. More weight has been added onto the Bavarian lift. It's 290 kilos now, well over 600 pounds, and Bill Pittock is the first to attempt it. And the rest of the competitors know that this man is very solid indeed in these strength events. Oh, now, is that a signal he's got a problem? They don't seem too concerned, but this might be a worry for Bill if he has felt a twinge in the shoulder. Oh, as soon as he started the pull, it looked like the problem reoccurred. So, that's the end of Bill. It's down to these two. I felt something go on my shoulder. And I, went to, I put it down, I went to do it again. And it weren't happening, nothing's happening, so I've done something somewhere. Well, the competition has moved on at a pace. Herrit and Hines passed at 290 kilos. Then they were both successful at 300. So this is the new weight, 320 kilograms, over 700 pounds. This has got to be a big pull by Heinz Olesch. Just a little more is required. He gets it. That was a very good lift from the big Bavarian. And judging from this replay, he's got room to spare. Herod Badenhorst with a little last minute stretching to warm himself up and the crowd. I'm not sure Queen Victoria would have been all that amused at being shoved around there. But she's seen nothing like this before. Herod Badenhorst is rarely beaten in strongman competitions when it comes to this sort of lift, but Oles just has got the edge at the moment because he's taken fewer attempts to reach this weight. Herit must get this one to stay in with a chance of winning. It's a big, big pull. There's one little shrug, there's two. Now, come on, a big one now will get it, and he does get it. Oh, he's not very pleased. There might be a suspicion of a twinge there for Herit Badenhorst. That's the current situation. Cox and Piddick out of it. Olesch has only taken four attempts to reach 320 kilos. Herit has taken five. That might be crucial. Eric, that was a fantastic lift, but you still need to lift more to win this competition. Now, Hans going to go now for the, for the world record. If he do it, I will try also to. So in actual fact, you would be happy with second place because on count back at the moment, you're, uh, you're still behind him. Is that what the situation is? Yes. You uh, actually, actually gave me a very good uh, idea now. I think I must go for a 340. <laughs> But all the attention at the moment is on Heinz Olesch going for 335 kilos. This is a world record attempt. 
and Badenhorst knows he must go for 340. It's moving slowly, but I think this time the weight has beaten Hines, but he still may have done enough. Can I change mine? The answer is no, Herrit can't change his mind. He has to stick at 340 kilos, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Hines, world records are never easy. That's why they're world records. You gave yeah. it a good shot, though. Maybe next year. I was in good shape, but the heat takes a lot of fluid out of me, and maybe it was five kilos too much. For mere mortals, that was about 300 kilos too much. So this lift is for the win, and of course, it's a world record attempt. Hines was right about the heat. The sweat is dripping off Herrit. He can have a second go. No, it's all over. It's even too much for this great man. A long contest is finished, and Nassau has seen strength at its very best as Herrit limps away. So Germany's Heinz Olish emerges from event two as the winner. Herrit Badenhorst gets second, though not without problems. He's left with a painful injury. I felt it the first time, and uh, I left the, you know, the bar higher for another attempt. But I think it's, of course, it was really heavy. Uh, I don't think it was actually foolish of me to try to go for a world record in the heats. So many things left in the competition. Herit's not wrong there because at the halfway point, in theory, it's still possible for any two of our strong men to qualify for the final. Thanks for tuning in to World's Strongest Man on YouTube. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can catch all the up-to-date information and stay tuned on how strong and pretty I am, obviously. Don't miss it.